We've just witnessed the first big tournament for Age of Mythology retold, and the second game in the final between Recon and the Mister. Recon went for this crazy early advance into mass Minotaur strat. I've broken it down and we'll go through it if you want to give it a try for yourself. Unfortunately we don't have access to the recorded game yet, but I've recreated the build against the AI. So first of all you want your first four villagers to move over to the food, and then you want your second two to move over to a gold mine. If you can, you want to share your storehouse between a wood line and a gold mine, but if not, you just want to put it on a safe gold mine and then you'll be able to use these straggler trees later. But this build doesn't involve any wood in the archaic age. It is really simple, it is four food, two gold, and then we want the next four to come over to food. Obviously, while you're doing this, you want your scout to be looking for goats or anything of that nature. I mean, if you also could, you would want the granary to... Um, not build a granary if you wanted to drag in the hippopotamus or whatever is on your town center on certain maps but the start of this build is actually really is really simple to get a 330 advance time you want to skip a house and you want to skip getting any wood and basically just get mass food in as soon as you have the resources which will be 150 gold you want your villagers to drop a drop a temple together one of them will stay on the temple and one of them will come back to the gold mine. If you can, you want to shoot these giraffes as close to the granary as possible just because it gets you the cleaner ad advance time. It isn't necessary, but there isn't really much else to do in this early game because the macro is pretty simple. You want four to come over here and then build the temple and then one extra one to go over to the food. So that makes nine total. And then your next two villagers, you want to move over to the wood line. If you couldn't share the storehouse, then you could just go on a tree that's right next to the town center and that isn't really a problem there so as as we said we want one villager to stay on the temple one to come back to the gold then we'll be getting one more villager out for a 230 advance time this villager here will go over to the favor and then we'll be advancing to the next stage now this is when the villager split comes in so what you want to do is send five over to food two to wood five to gold and two to favor for the next 30 seconds and then as soon as you hit three minutes you want to change the split ever so slightly so i'm copying exactly what what recon did maybe this isn't the most optimal maybe someone can come up with a better way but this is the, exactly the way he did it and i'm sure he has more than rhyme and reason for it so that's exactly what what we're going to do here so it get, gets to three minutes and then we're going to take the villagers off of the food and join the wood so the reason for this, I think, is because you can get the Jason out and get another house down and it'd be absolutely fine. You also want to get more wood in because you want to get that Labyrinth of Minos upgrade, which is the upgrade for the uh, the upgrade for the Minotaurs. And I think it is, especially with this split of like the 30 seconds, it, it becomes really clean. You also have enough, you have enough food for villagers and it's just nice and easy there. So we get the Minotaur out for, for free and then we queue up another minotaur straight away now the aim of this build from recon's game was to put pressure on with the minotaur obviously we're just playing against the ai here so i don't want to put on any pressure i just want to see how many units we can actually get out while also later on wanting to go up to the heroic age without building any military buildings basically so as i as i said earlier we have enough for the jason we have enough for the house we managed to queue up another minotaur uh, I don't know what's the best villager to build the houses with. That one will just take a little bit of uh, trying out. I couldn't see Recon's perspective, so I didn't know what he built the houses with. I just did it with the favor villagers, but maybe that puts your favor a little bit too far behind. Looking at this, you could probably do it with the wood villagers. Now I get out my Heracles, and then as soon as I have the 250 wood for the Labyrinth of Minos upgrade with the two Minotaurs, that's when you're at a, re a really good power spike where you have the two heroes out, you have two Minotaurs with Labyrinth of Minos at about five minutes in, and it's pretty crazy. So I will post the rest of the build. It is three food, one favor, so you end up with three favor, one wood, two food, four gold and then the rest food to then get up to the next stage he also gets pickaxe at some point in here but now i just want to go over some highlights from from his game we're into the highlights and this is the kind of crazy pressure that recon can uh, can put on now he can force the mister off of the granary on his on his home food on his his home home chickens and force him back with his three minotaurs and his jason and 
The Mister is also playing Hades, which is possibly the most offensive god in the entire game because he has his Sentinels upgrade and also has an Ajax to defend, which is just very, very cheap. And it's actually forced the Mister back onto gathering from goats. Now, in most levels of play, maybe this isn't that much of a big deal, but at, at, the, at the top level, this is absolutely huge. It's forcing him to gather from a resource that he doesn't want to use yet. He's, he, he's going to want to save that for later. You can see here, he's, he is just relentless. He's just constantly forcing the mister off of the food. He's even got watchtowers, and it's still enough to just uh, force some idle time on those food villagers. If you're playing against a weaker player, then obviously you can just go in and just headbutt all his villagers away and be absolutely laughing. And then in comes the Achilles, but no worries for Recon, he's Zeus, so he can just bolt any strong units, any strong heroes that he wants to come out with. And that is why the Mister probably delayed the Achilles, because it's basically just, <laughs> yeah, just not worth it. And he even gets a headbutt off on those villagers. Unfortunately, he couldn't get two headbutts off, because that would have been uh, nice kills there. Now this was maybe the craziest thing about this strat. You can see how many Minotaurs he has and how low HP all of them are. And now what he's doing is he's advancing to the next stage through Apollo and looking to get that Temple of Healing upgrade. So he hasn't lost one Minotaur this, this whole game. So he's basically just getting the value of rebuilding like four of them or however many he has that are low HP. Also there's heroes as well. It's just going for maximum value of myth unit resources. And he just queues that up straight away. He was also getting hot plates while going to the next stage. And then he can run around with those and raid and look for doing some scouting opportunities while all those while all those guys heal up with Temple of Healing. And you can see here, as soon as Temple of Healing comes through, they're all basically it's just like a healing spring. It will slowly get them all back. So it's such a good idea. Now this is where one of the main engagement comes from. So Recon goes in with a lot of hoplites forcing out the curse, which is what he wants because he's got a huge army behind with all those Minotaurs back up to basically full HP. He's got a Manticore behind, loads of hoplites, and he knows that he can use his restoration to just force a fight here. Also, you'll find out that a lot of these Minotaurs, there's so many of them, they do a lot of damage to the heroes even. So even if they want to take down the Chiron, if they want to take down the Achilles that does so much damage to them, if there's like three of them on, that Achilles health bar just goes down so quick. Even the Chiron there, his health just just going down. The, the Minotaurs headbutt and everybody. Obviously Zeus Hoplite's coming in. Zeus Hoplite's are strong. He also got that upgrade Sarissa, so they have a little bit of range on them as well. And this was a really nice push. Now we're up to the next stage of the of the game. So the guys are basically jockeying back and forth, trying to get some good damage on on each other. Recon wants to get in and disrupt the Mister's gold mines, but the Mister's dropped two fortresses on there, and uh, he just wants to come in. He's he's actually decided to advance to the next stage through Hera, so he has that lightning storm and also potentially that monstrous rage for getting even better myth units. Um, you can see that the Manticore specials are extremely strong. The Mister did some really nice micro to move those archers out of the way, but three Manticore, four of these Minotaurs are just so strong. And then what Recon wanted to do here was push with Lightning Storm uh, and potentially finish off the game. But as Hades is obviously one of the best defensive gods in the entire game, and he has two fortresses up and lots of archers, Unfortunately, this time it, was, it wasn't meant to be, but that doesn't take anything away from the strat. I think the strat is super strong, and even if it was just some more things went slightly more recon's way, I think he could have come away with the win on this one. But definitely try the strat out, see what you think. It's going to be available on my Discord. I'm going to make a channel called Pro Player Builds. So if you have any other pro players that you want to see builds from, or any gods that you want to see builds from, let me know, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.